work is well underway on an elementary and high school that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Far East District is overseeing the construction of at U.S. Army Garrison Humphreys in Pyeongtaek, Republic of Korea. According to the new high school principal, Dr. Bob Funk, the schools will be state-of-the-art. Unbelievable. Um, I have 82 instructional classrooms in the building, three chemistry labs. I have a JROTC a wing that is uh, unbelievable. The schools are being built as part of the expansion to U.S. Army Garrison Humphreys, which will see a tremendous amount of growth over the next few years from the Korea Location Program. We are more, almost tripling the size of U.S. Army Garrison Humphreys. Uh, we are taking the population from an eight to 9,000 population to a 36,000 population. In addition to making room for the influx of new students, the new schools will alleviate two issues that are currently being experienced. One, being a lack of available space for current middle and elementary schools. This building here houses the middle school, and it was originally built to be the Army's education center. But with the spillover of too many students for the buildings we have, we're in here now. And the second will be to actually have a high school on post. Uh, nine through 12th graders here at Camp Humphreys are bused to Osan Air Base every day. And that's a burden on kids from having to get up early, come home late. The new schools combined will accommodate 1,800 students and according to school officials will have plenty of 21st century technology built in to enhance learning. The high school will also have its own baseball and softball fields as well as a football stadium complete with a press box. This will be the nicest school in the Pacific. In Pyeongtaek, Republic of Korea, Patrick Ludwig.